Uh, uh, Richard, here we are today, uh, waiting for Nick Conrad to cross the line. Can you tell us a little bit about it, please? About it, yeah. Well, he's done a very good task from Huntstanton down to beautiful sunny Cromer here. Um, I think he's a little bit tired. I think he's a bit muscular problems and a few blisters. But hopefully he'll do a good, great thing that I, I really enjoy every year and miss the days over there. But Terry Wogan was good for that. And uh, every year I really enjoyed... It's great to uh, see the BBC here at uh, outside the Cromer Pavilion. Thank uh, you. Can you tell us a little bit about what Nick is it's doing, please? Here. Nick has been running the coastal path, at North North, North Norfolk Coastal Path, uh, for four days now. It's just insane, and he's done it every single day, presented his programme, and then gone off running, and he's got loads of blisters, and is really, really starting to struggle now, but definitely, in terms of raising money, it's absolutely fantastic. He's ra we've raised loads for Shortly Near, which is the most important thing, and he's seen some parts of the coast probably we, we will never see from that point of view, but he's doing really, really well, really well, and we're just waiting for him now, and he should have been here about four minutes ago, so we're just getting a little bit Well, I bit hope worried. he's all right. I hope he is too. I'm sure he will be. I just hope it will. Fingers crossed, he's okay. I'm sure he will be. He's got Neil Featherby and Elizabeth Rizzini running with him for the BBC Weather Team, so hopefully he'll be okay. Uh, can you see uh, any signs of Nick uh, yet, uh, Tony? Not at the moment. I'm hoping he should be here very soon. Here they come! I've never followed rules. And Jeff was saying to us, you've got to go on the road. We thought, stuff that. Well, I thought, stuff that, we're going on the beach. So we took the wrong turn at each run, and we came along the beach. It was great for about the first two uh, kilometres or so. Then we hit the boggy sand. I thought we should have gone on the bloody road. Yeah. Um, but I'm pleased. I'm pleased we've done it. It's been four fantastic days with Neil. Uh, and I have to say, Hun Stanton feels like a long way away. Uh, back on Monday at 6.30 in the morning when I turned up and I thought, this is going to be easy. And then here I am, and it was a little bit hard. What's been the real challenge for you? This actually is keeping going where uh, some of the terrain, the mud, um, isn't particularly forgiving. The worst bit of it has to be the Cly Shingle Ridge. You know, you go out for a mile on the road like we did this morning after finishing the radio broadcast. We hit that shingle ridge, and that is hideous. I mean, it's horrible. I don't know if people walk across that. It's just a horrible place. It's beautiful, but it's horrible. Um, and uh, But it was great because I was motivated by uh, lots of people along the route, by the way, who came out to give us money, to stand on the side of the shingle, to cheer us on. People at Wayborn uh, who came out, that wonderful woman with her stick yesterday. I've forgotten her name, but she was fantastic.